He said some emerging data suggests that for some folks, it might be a good idea to eat something like 1.25 grams of protein per pound of body weight, and maybe even a little bit more in some cases. You're typically of the perspective that for many cases, if not most, even as little as 0.75 grams per pound per day of protein can cover almost all, if not all of your bases. And I'm like the coward that I am at a gram per pound right in the middle. And it's like I have mom and dad, in this case, two dads, and you're in that sort of fight where you're at first yelling and then like you start throwing pillows, but I'm just waiting for like, you know, the, uh, the dishes to start flying. Explain this to me in a way that with my limited intellect, I can understand where do you think Milo is coming from? Where are you coming from? And let's put some daylight between the two. Mm -hmm. Hit me. From what I understand about Milo's perspective is that he relies primarily on the Japanese meta-analysis from 2020, I believe. And that one found... Well, technically, all it's found is that there are benefits above 1.3 gram per kilogram per day. And they found that there wasn't really a, um, a cutoff point, it seemed, in the data. But the analysis also didn't do an actual breakpoint analysis. So they didn't actually check, like, what's the maximum point at which we find benefits for muscle growth or lean body mass. Lean body mass is what most of these meta-analysis should look at. So that's also good to realize it's not necessarily even muscle growth. And...